Kristen, thank you so much for watching today's video. I have a Rain Optics review for you. Now, this is an independent eyewear company. <laughs> an independent eyewear company out of California. Like, every company I check out ends up being in California. But Rain is probably more known uh, or more well-known than the other Californian companies that I have reviewed on my channel before. You've probably heard of these glasses and um, I had these and wanted to do a review. So here we go. Here's a little rain brochure and it talks about their warranty policy which is pretty generous and it's nice to know that they stand behind their products. It also talks over here about some declaration of conformity with directive blah 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 yada yada numbers. So it talks about some um, talks about the lenses and stuff like that and flammability, biocompatibility and stuff like that. And then you also get a cleaning cloth. It wasn't in the little case, probably because it can't fit, to be honest. Um, but it is, I'm not going to open it up, but you can see there it looks like some palm trees or little leaves like that. And I'm sure it's microfiber and quite nice. That was also in the box. Okay, so the first thing I'll say is uh, that they have cut down in the last couple of years. They used to have a faux leather case with magnetic closure that was a lot more protective and they have scaled down to this kind of felted and faux leather pouch. I don't, this is one of the cons to the brand. I, I don't like how they've done that, especially because their glasses retail for around 130 to 170 with the median price range being 150 So unless they go on sale, it's an older model a few seasons ago, you're not going to really get them any cheaper than that. Um, unless it's like a sale, you know, with Nordstrom or someone like that, you could take advantage of. But I think for the price, the case should be a lot more substantial than it is. I'm sorry, it's just my personal opinion. Um, the other side, you've got this, I wish somebody would tell me, oh, if you pull on this little stretchy, stretch a little kajiggery thing, kajigger, the stretch him a thing, um, the sunglasses actually kind of pop out a little bit more. I'm, I've just figured that out, excuse me, for my excitement. Um, I have the model here called the Strata, S-T-R-A-D-A, um, and it's this really oversized round pair of sunglasses. Now, the basic colors obviously are black and tortoise, but this is a color called Lunar Quartz, and they also have a Solar Quartz. So, um, I really like this because it was so affordable as well. They have them on Amazon for really, really good prices right now, especially the solar and the lunar. And I'm going to put that in some links down below so you can take advantage of that. I really couldn't pass this up. Um, so, rain are handmade and... Uh, what else am I trying to say? They're made in China. You can see here on the temple. It's very, very vague. Like, you have to be in the perfect light to see that. But, um, so they're made in China. Um, I'm not sure what kind of acetate they use. Um, if I figure that out, I'll leave that down below. I think I probably should have done some more research, but I do know that they use, um, a CR39 lens manufactured by Zeiss. That's what it says online. I'm not sure what they mean manufactured by Zeiss. Usually people just say Carl Zeiss CR39 lenses. So I'm not sure. Um, but up here in the top right corner, or your, it'd be, it's my right lens and your left lens, there is a engraved R for rain. Um, and so I'm going to kind of put these on for you. I really like that they're so oversized. It's really fun because they're comfortable, they were affordable, and they're just kind of fun, you know. Um, but the problem I'm having is that they're quite lopsided. And, and you'll see here that this left temple is sitting kind of... Uh, sitting up quite a bit and then when I lay them flat as well I'll try to show you this you have a kind of an alignment adjustment problem there and it wouldn't be just fixed by heating this up and bending the temple ends downward actually what needs to happen with this which is a little bit I don't know I'm a bit dubious about fiddling with this but what needs to happen here is this part needs to be heated and the temple actually pulled downward which is a little bit nerve-wracking because when you do an adjustment like that you're um, moving the hinge around a little bit too so that was a bummer to me I'm not sure if it's because the sunglasses stay longer in storage especially because they are um, you know fulfilled through Amazon and then this is a discounted color and everything like that I'm not sure if it just sat in the kind of like a warehouse too long or maybe when it was on tra in transit to me although I doubt that it could happen that quickly in transit to me. 
But that is another one of the downsides to that is that it came pretty maladjusted and I'm kind of dubious about getting it uh, adjusted at an optical place because it's not, um, it's not kind of one of your most basic adjustments. It's something that could compromise the hinges. I like this a lot, you know, that I kind of prefer to stick with um, gray or uh, black lenses or green lenses. These are like a gradient brown. Like I said, I'd much rather do a gradient brown than like a solid brown, so I really quite like these. Lunar Quartz here is different. The Solar Quartz has like kind of like pink gradient lenses, and it appears to be kind of like clear and pink, where he, this is like clear and like really light brown. Um, and then obviously I've told you about the lenses already, but on the right temple you have a rain little metal inlay logo. It's not present on the other temple. Um, I think the lens width here is 54 millimeters. I'm not sure about the bridge and I'm not sure about the temple length and it's not inside uh, the temples. So I'm going to link that in a down below, link it down below. Uh, put an annotation kind of in somewhere and also I'll put it in the description box as well when I link you to the glasses. So again, this was the Rain Strata. Um, kind of overall thoughts I would mention really quick is that my personal opinion, I don't know if I would go for any rain glasses full price. Actually, not I don't know, it's probably I wouldn't buy any um, unless that they were on sale, unless they were under $100. So I don't think, I think the 50 to 80 price range is adequate for these glasses, but the fact that they are around 150 to 170 and some even go above 200, I'm not, um, the, the temples, uh, the hinges are not quite as fluid as I would like when one kind of pops up and one gets stuck. Um, and then, of course, there was the adjustment or, you know, uh, alignment issue going on there. Um, overall, I think they're a good brand and I think it's something to look into if you can find them on sale. Um, but it's not something that I would, again, do full price. But again, that's just my opinion. I'm not paid to do any of my reviews. They come from my own personal thoughts and that is um, something that I uh, pride myself on and I'm glad to be able to review things for you at an honest level. So, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little information about Ryan if you were considering them. I'd be happy to answer any questions down below. And um, with that, I'll see you next time. Thanks.